Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Dave. I'm Dave, cooking with Dave. Uh, today I'm making some pecan pie. I had somebody request me to cook some pecan pie. I said, sure, why not? I will cook some pecan pie. I love pecan pie. It is wonderful. Uh, I don't know if y'all pronounce it pecan, but uh, I pronounce it pecan, and that's the way it is. P-E-C-A-N. You know what I'm saying. I'll bring you over here and show you how to put it together. Okay, today I'm making, actually making two pecan pies, so y'all will need to uh, if cut in half this recipe if you're going to make one. I'm doubling up everything to make two pecan pies, because pie crust, when you buy a pie crust in the store, ready to have a pie put inside of it, it's just an uncooked pie crust, you don't see that? Uh, they come in two, so I figured I'd make two. If y'all want to make your own pie crust, go ahead, it ain't no big deal. Uh, it's just some flour and water some dough, spread you out some pie crust in a 9 inch pie pan, and you're ready to go. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take two cups of sugar. Remember, I'm making two, so if you're making one, just do one cup of sugar. Two cups of sugar. Oh yeah, it takes some sugar to make pie. Then I'm going to take two cups of light corn syrup and put it in there. Oh yeah, like I said, it takes sugar to make pie. I started making pies few years ago. I'm not much of a baker, but I bake from time to time. I started making pies a few years ago and I was amazed at the amount of sugar that goes into a pie. It makes you want to stop eating pies altogether. I'm putting five eggs in here. I should be using six, but I only have five. So I'm going to use five. And then I'm going to take some vanilla extract and I'm going to use about a whole teaspoon. It calls for half teaspoon for one, so we're gonna put just a whole teaspoon, a little extra vanilla in our pie. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt. It only takes about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're just gonna mix this up. I need a bigger spoon. I got a bigger spoon. And we mix this up like so. And then we're gonna get it ready for our pecans. Now we're going to add a little extra flavor to this thing today, so we're going to get it ready for our pecans and caramel. We're going to melt some caramel and put some melted caramel in our pecan pie. So boom, okay, I'm just going to take me a regular saucepan and put about two tablespoons of butter in it. I'm going to let them melt. All right, after I, get my, my, after I get my butter to start melting, I'm going to put a cup of milk in this. I'm going to melt me some car caramel. We have a little caramel flavor in our pecan pie. So I have some candy caramel pieces, took all the plastic off them, and then as my butter and my milk started to get hot, I'll start adding the caramel pieces and we'll just melt them all together and then we're going to add it to our pie. I don't have my stove on high, I have it medium high. I'm going to stand here and watch it the whole time, keep stirring it so I don't have to worry about it so much. But if you're not going to be able to watch it all the time, just do it lower, do it on medium heat. But you still got to stir it pretty much a lot. Just keep stirring it until it becomes a nice smooth caramel mess. Just keep stirring it until it gets nice and smooth. Uh, don't let it stick to the bottom. Just keep stirring it up until we get a nice smooth caramel candy. Okay, get it all nice and smooth. Go ahead and turn my heat off. And I want to keep stirring it until I make sure it all is pretty much one. I want it all to be the same texture throughout. I don't want to leave any thick caramel on the bottom of the pot. I want to get it all stirred up into the pot. And you see it's a little bit soupy. So I will let it stand off to the side and cool down just a little bit. And then we'll add it to our pie. Back to our pie filling. We got we have the filling with the eggs and our sugar and corn syrup, a little bit of salt, a little bit of vanilla, all up in there. And now 
we're going to go ahead and stir in our caramel. Put it all in there. Our caramel looking good. It's going to be good. Extra special flavor for our pecan pie. Now I'm going to start adding my pecans. And what I did was, got a bunch of these. Can you see that? What I did was I had a bunch of broke up pecans. And I'll take these broke up pecans and I'll put them inside the pie. And I'll take these whole pecans. See that? That's a whole pecan, not not broke because it's, it's been shelled and it's uh, just a whole pecan. We'll put those on top. But we'll put the broke up pecans inside the pie. Alright, so just put your pecans in there, stir them in. Uh, the recipe calls for cup and a fourth. I'm using about three cups. I'm making two pies. So about three cups pecans. I want to make sure there's lots of pecans in my pie because I like a pecan. I stir those up. Let's get them all mixed in. Make sure everything's just mixed together. Y'all know how to make a pie. When you make a pie, you make sure it's all mixed together. Now we're going to put the pie into our pie crust and we just dump it in there. Make it level. We're gonna go rob me up some pecans on that one. Now we don't want to overfill the pie. I might put a little too much, but I got a bunch of it. But right up to the top of the pie rim, with our pie, and then we're gonna take our pecans that are not cut up and just put them right on top of there make us a little pecan crust I like to turn them all right side up you don't have to you can just throw them on there if you want to but I like to turn them all right side up like that okay now there's our pecan pie and what I'll do is I'll put this in the oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes maybe just till my pie crust gets brown and cooked and it'll be ready to go oh we gotta let it cool some more it's not ready we're gonna cheat and take this piece out here for tasting but it's not ready oh it's gonna cool you have to let this cool three four hours all right i tried to cut the pie earlier but it was too soon i need to let it uh sit a little while longer but while I was sitting here, somebody came along and stole a piece. So anyway, I'll cut a piece. Show you what it's looking like on the inside. It's wonderful. You cannot beat this pie. It's a piece of pie. That there is what you call pecan pie. Oh man, it's so sweet that you should not eat a whole bunch of this. That right there that's what we call pecan pie oh this is going to be good y'all let me go eat this they cook pecan pie it's wonderful y'all love pecan pie it takes about three four hours to let this bad boy sit out and just cool off or you can cut into it and eat it y'all saw i cut into it a little too early you gotta let it gel up and become one before you cut into it and eat it man you cannot beat it it's like candy with pecan uh, y'all haven't tried pecans before, go out and get some pecans, they're wonderful, can't beat them, you will love them lots. Alright, uh, remember I'm the world's greatest chef, so, so right here on my apron, y'all have a great day.